Springfield Township has a lot happening, and many of us who live here don't always see the planning and the projects in the works. Before I take some time to mention them here, I want to point out ways to make sure you can stay connected. Whether it's how the township is promoting economic development, or family programs, or neighborhood grants, or supporting the arts, don't miss out on everything that's happening in Springfield Township. Here's how you can stay connected. First, follow them on Facebook. There are two pages that you can follow to make sure you're connected to what's happening. One of them is the Springfield Township page itself, and the other one is the Facebook page for The Arts Connect. And that will tell you all of the family events and arts events and um, evenings for grown-ups, the music events and things like that. So make sure you follow both of those pages so you can not miss things that are happening in the township. The next place you can look to keep up to date on what's happening in the township is the township's website, springfieldpwp.org. You will find current events on there. You'll find news on there. Keep an eye on the calendar. That's just a place. If you're not sure what's happening in the township, zoom over to their website and you can get up to date. You can also follow the website for the Arts Connect and you'll find all of those um, special events and happenings, not to mention summer camps and workshops. Those workshops are for kids and grown-ups. Things all happening at the Arts Connect building right behind the main administrative building on Winton Road. The third way you can stay connected is to make sure that township news shows up right in your email so you don't have to worry about remembering to go look at the website and keep an eye on what's going on. You can sign up for Springfield Township newsletter emails to come to your mailbox by going to the township website, springfieldtwp.org. And if you click on that newsletter button, over on the left side, first of all, you're going to see all the news stories that are current and know what's going on. But also on that page at the top right, you can click the word subscribe and put your email in there and then make sure that that news just shows up magically in your email box. You don't have to worry about remembering to go look on the website and you'll be up to date. You won't find out later after something happens that you missed mom prom or something fun like that. So make sure you go there, sign up for the emails, and make sure they show up in your mailbox. Now, let's take a quick look at some of the news Springfield Township is sharing through those places. Springfield Township is getting its very first sculpture. Arts Connect has applied for and received a grant from the Ohio Arts Council to install this sculpture. The sculpture will celebrate the life and legacy of nationally recognized artist Charlie Harper, and it will be installed at the heaviest traveled intersection in Hamilton County, which is Galbraith and Winton Roads. Charlie Harper was a resident from Springfield Township for over 60 years. Springfield Township wants to celebrate his legacy and bring attention to the arts and vibrancy that the arts brings to our community. In January, Arts Connect had a call to artists to get submissions from sculptors. Proposals were reviewed in February and they interviewed the top candidates. Arts Connect selected artist Micah Landers and his assistant Andy Flynn to design, build, and install Landers' concept for the sculpture, The Many Sides of Charlie Harper. Arts Connect is not going to release the design to the public until they unveil the sculpture. That will be tentatively scheduled for late June of 2022. Um, but four of Harper's artworks will be represented in this sculpture and the community was invited to help choose which four of those would be. Voting for this choice ran through March 26, and folks could vote online at theartsconnect.us, or they could also vote in person in the Arts Connect building. We can take a look at the four voting options right here.
And I'm looking forward to seeing what this sculpture looks like. We'll have to come back and do a little bit more discovery on this story later on in the summer. The Springfield Township Community Improvement Corporation is offering its next round of grants to spur neighborhood beautification and economic development in 2022. The Springfield Township CIC has opened the grant application process for neighborhood and local business improvements. Neighborhood enhancement and business improvement grants were created to assist local businesses and neighborhood associations carrying out improvements that better our area. You can find the applications online now at springfieldtownship.org. Springfield Township Community Improvement Corporation board member and also township trustee Mark Burning explained that the two grant programs leverage community resources to revitalize and reinvest in Springfield Township businesses and neighborhoods. The programs create valuable partnerships that help improve the economic health and vibrancy of Springfield Township. The Neighborhood Enhancement Grant was created back in 2016, and the program was designed to make Springfield Township neighborhoods better places to live and work and play. The program focuses on the township's various neighborhoods by achieving specific goals. So let's take a look at what kinds of programs would be eligible for this improvement grant. Projects which are eligible include ones which provide a public neighborhood benefit, um, ones that make improvement or repairs to existing facilities, ones that develop aesthetic improvements such as landscaping or entrance signage or lighting, and also ones that involve neighborhood residents in project identification and the planning and the implementation of that project. Funded projects must have a minimum of 10% matching funds by the eligible organization. And past projects have included um, the Hollydale Civic Association Neighborhood Gateway, um, the Pleasant Run Farm Civic Association Swim Club Pool Repairs, Seven Hills Action Groups, their Neighborhood Gateway. Um, there's more information. Again, keep an eye on the Township website. You can find the application. You can find the details, everything you need to know. You do need to know that the deadline for this year's grant application is June 15th, 2022. Now, when it comes to economic development, the township has some very big news posted. If you go to their Facebook page and their website, and all those sources I told you about, there is a $30 million tri-health medical facility coming to Springfield Township. The Springfield Township Zoning Commission met February 24th, and they formally approved tri-health's final development plan to build a 57,000 square foot two-story ambulatory medical campus on West Galbraith Road. This is the largest economic development project to come to Springfield Township in over 30 years. The Tri-Health development will transform the former Forest Lytle & Sons Incorporated five parcel site to a comprehensive healthcare facility. Tri-Health one of Greater Cincinnati's largest health systems, operating Good Samaritan and Bethesda Norse hospitals. Um, it, they're investing $30 million to build this new medical campus and employ an estimated 120 healthcare workers and support staff. Site work will begin as early as March, so we'll see that happening soon with an anticipated opening of the fall of 2023. Springfield Township trustee Christy Dukes Davis said that the Tri-Health campus is exciting. It's long awaited news for our community. The project not only is the largest economic development the township has seen for some time, but it will provide significant benefits in expanding healthcare access to Springfield Township and the region. Tri-Health CEO Mark Clement 
said that Springfield Township continues to be a great partner in our vision to serve every member of the community within a 15 minute drive of their home. Springfield Township will mark TriHealth's 13 major ambulatory campus in Greater Cincinnati overall. The new ambulatory campus will serve as a one-stop shop healthcare destination. When fully operational, the campus will feature primary and specialty care providers, urgent care, and outpatient services. When it comes to economic development, 2022 and 2023 will mark banner years for Springfield Township. In addition to the TriHealth campus, the township will also a, welcome a new Finneytown Elementary School and City Barbecue to the community. Trustee Davis commented that over the past few years, we have seen heightened interest in Springfield Township for new business development. And with limited locations available to build, our team has to be more creative and more strategic in its approach. Every project becomes a partnership and may take longer to achieve, but is done right with the purpose of bettering the community. Well, we just took a really quick look at some of the biggest stories on the Springfield Township news page, but please make sure you stay connected, follow them on Facebook, watch their website, and sign up for their emails. There are a lot of events coming on their calendar. There are summer camps. There are art fairs. Um, there, there's just so much coming up that I cannot list them all here. Really need to go and keep an eye on the calendar on their websites. And I will see you next time. <music>